the third topic is to graph polar equations and in the third topic of your exam scheme they have specifically asked you problems these are the problems where they have asked you to plot the points so now how do we do it is our sine theta is given so what you need to do is make a table of values with theta and the radius r that is the sine theta so you need to assume these theta values generally we assume 0 to 360 that is same over here 0 to 2 pi that is 360 degrees pi means 180 and we give a spacing of generally 30 degrees so 0 30 60 90 you can see pi by 6 is 30 pi by 3 is uh, 60 then we have 90 that is pi by 2 and so on it keeps on added by 30 and then when you put this in the calculator you will get the answer i'll just show you how all you're doing is it depends on which you use i'll be using the degree for now i won't change the mode because degree is easy to type rather than uh, radians so i will just use sine zero is always zero sine zero is zero now let me put it as 30 that is 0.5 that is half let me change it to 60 the root 3 by 2 or 0 0.866 that's 0 0.9 we we can change it to 90 it's one and so on don't you think it takes so much long time to get this table it, it is it is really taxing and boring so there's a shortcut method you can do it in your calculator all you need to do is press mode and you can see there's a table this is the table of values right let's click on that table okay what is the function you need to uh, find the table of values for it's sine theta right so put sine there is no theta option but there's x so f of x is sine x then press equal to we are dealing only with one equation so ignore this f of x is submitted it's fine g of x is nothing press equal to again where do you want to start we always start from zero and end at 360 degrees and what is the interval we want to give 30 or 40 or 60 whatever let's start with 30 over here at 30 degrees i want the intervals that's it now look at the values 0 is 0 30 is 0 0.5 uh, 60 is 0 0.866 that's 0 0.9 and all these values are matching they get you all the values you can check this out all the values will match so this is much easy and much simpler method if you had put g of x then you'll get one more equation but only one is enough now and now once you have the x and y values you can graph how do you graph you need to start now over here zero is zero so that means over here you start with zero and zero now at 30 degrees this is pi by six what is the value at 0 0.5 so this is the 0 0.5 over here at 30 degrees now what about uh 60 degrees that's 0.9 so it's somewhere over here it's 0.866 and then pi by 2 is 90 it's 1 same way we can do the others now 2 by 3 is 0.9 this is simple and 0 0 again pi is 0 where pi we have 0 now what about these negative values 7 pi by 6 is over here but it says negative 0 0.5 that means you have to go in the opposite direction and you reach at the same point back over here same thing with 3 pi by 2 it's over here but negative 1 is opposite side and you come over here so this is the thing you'll come back to the same point and this is the graph because it's symmetrical over here now you can try this graphing by yourself and pause the video graph it by yourself and then check the answer so now we will check this answer over here we need to make the table of values let's use our calculator now mode you can if you press on it'll go back to the same mode that is mode table more than seven and now let's type three cos x because theta is unknown and now you press equal to don't type anything over here let's start with zero and end at 360 and then let's give this step of 30 and this these are the values let's double check it over here you can see they are the exact same values zero 30 is 2.6 1.5 again will be zero and so on all the values are over here 
Now, with these values, you know how to graph them. You can easily graph it. Zero, it starts at three over here. And then you have pi by six at 2.6. So you can see pi by six is over here, bitten between two and three. Whereas pi by three is 1.5 over here. That's in between one and two. And then pi by two is zero and it goes on. So this is how we can easily graph. Please do go through these problems by yourself. Try them and solve it. Solve it and then double check the answers. I will quickly show you how to plot this cos. Now, we don't have cos option, isn't it? Sorry, uh, cosecant. Cos is there, sine is there, tan is there. What about this cosecant? It's simple. It's just that you must remember cosecant is 1 by sine. So all I need to do is write 1 divided by sine x. Close the bracket. And where does it start? It starts from 0. It ends at 360. It's the same thing. And let's have a step of 30. And here you will get, see now, this one is, you're getting an error. Why? Because there is no value. It's undefined at 0. Now, you can see at 30 degrees, where is 30 degrees? Over here, pi by 6, what's the value? It's 2. If you look closely at 30 degrees, this is the point. You can see, this is the point. And then at 60, this is the thing. It is about 1.15. Yes, it is correct. It's 1.15. And then you can see other values at 90, it is 1, and so on. So there are error values at some points. That means it is undefined over there. And then other values, you can plot them. Minus 2. Now, for example, over here, 330. 330 is over here. Minus 2 means you have to go in the opposite direction. So that's the thing. Remember, the minus signs means you're going in the opposite direction, whereas the plus signs is in the normal direction. This is it. Now, one more thing. You will have four options of the graph. So just do the table and then check which is the correct graph. That's it. You can easily check if it's a cos graph, it's, it'll be circles. Whereas if you have a secant graph, it's going to be line, a vertical line, because secant is a horizontal line. And looking at the graphs, you can easily plot it. You can see over here, these are the different type of graphs. So a negative means it's down, positive would be up. Similarly, there are few tactics, but this is the exact method. So do the table method by going to more, seven, and then uh, plotting the tables, and then you can easily find which is the correct graph.